Okay. So I noticed in the last video my voice was a little low. I'm going to try and speak up in this one. So a lot of you guys have been having problems uh, taking equations that aren't in y equals mx plus b form and then converting them to y equals mx plus b form so that you can graph it. So this is not in y equals mx plus b form. So if we want to graph this, we got to change some stuff around. Hopefully this thing doesn't fall because I'm not doing a retake. So what's the first thing we're going to have to move? 2x, correct. The only thing we want left on the left side of this sign is the y, and not a negative y, a positive y. It's the only thing we want left on the left of our sign. So we're going to get rid of this positive 2x. How do we get rid of positive 2x? We subtract 2x from both sides. My dog is looking at me really weird. I'll show them to you soon. So 2x, we want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of 2x, we subtract 2x. If we do it on one side, we have to do it on the other side. Oops, so we don't need the zero anymore. So the only thing I did, I subtracted 2x on this side because I wanted to get rid of it. And if I do it on this side, I have to do it on the other side of the sign. So these guys cancel each other. We're left with negative y, subtract 3 is greater than or equal to negative 2x. And get these signs down for the love of Jeff. This is greater than or equal to. If you read it from the left, the less than sign looks like an L. This does not look like an L. It's opening towards the bigger side. If this is the bigger side, then this must be less than this side. Hence, less than whatever's over here. Greater than, sorry. <laughs> Whatever this mouth is opening towards is greater than. I'm not doing a retake. Greater than. This is greater than this. That is the greater than sign. Greater than or equal to. So what's the next thing we got to get rid of? Well, we only want our y left over here, so we got to get rid of this negative 3. We want to get rid of a negative 3. Well, we can't subtract 3 because that would give us negative 6. Up here, we subtracted 2x because we had a positive 2x. We don't want to get rid of a negative 3, we have to add positive 3. And we do it on this side, we have to do it on the other side. These 3's cancel, we're left with, oh, it almost went, negative y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus so we're almost there, but our y is negative. We want a positive y. So if we look at this negative, it just looks like negative y. But when there's no number there, we assume there is a 1 there. It's actually negative 1y. So if we want to get rid of a number that's being multiplied by a variable, we have to divide by that number. So if I want to get rid of this negative 1, because it's being multiplied by a variable, I have to divide by negative 1. So, if I do something on this side, I have to do it to everything on this side. Negative 1 divided by negative 1. So these negative 1 cancels there. Got my y. And negative 2 over negative 1x. And 3 divided by negative 1. Well, a positive divided by a negative gives you a negative. And how many times does 1 go into 3? Three times. So, there's our final equation for our inequality. It's in y equals mx plus b form. And this is an inequality. So when we would graph, when we would graph this, what's the first thing we do? Find the y-intercept. Then we start from that y-intercept, and we use our rise over our run to find two more spots, two more points. Connect those points, and because it has our sign has an equal to with it, we use a solid line. And when we use our arrows to represent what portion of the graph our inequality refers to, because it's greater than, we shade above the line. So graphing will be in another video. So there it is. Now, 
I have one for you to try. I need to get a bigger eraser. And if you finish this one, you bring it into school, show me the answer, uh, and you get it right. Actually, just if you try it. If you bring it in and you show me that you tried, I will give you your choice of a Nutri-Grain bar or a Kool-Aid jammer or a point or a rock put back into the happy jar, their reward system. So here's the question I want you to try. sign on the water. And if you're having problems, rewind this video, look at how I did the first one. You want to see my dog? Come here, Tubbs. Dogs, I should have said. This is the good one, this is the bad one. This one eats poop, this one doesn't. <laughs>